Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about strings in detail. Okay. Now here, let me say printf and home. Okay. Now when I run this, I get home as output. Correct. Now let me try to store this in a variable okay so let me say name let me say name and let me store home in it all right now what is this home this is a string so we have to mention the data type so i'll mention str and here i will say percentage yes because we have format specifier percentage yes for strings okay so I'll say percentage yes and I'll leave comma and I'll say name. Okay. So let me run it. So I get an error. Okay. Unknown type name str. Maybe this is wrong. Let me check string. So let me run it and I still get an error. This is because unlike many other programming languages, C does not have a string type to easily create string variables. Okay. So you cannot create a variable like this and store string in it. So then what must we do? What we have to do is we have to use the character type, this type, character type and create an array of characters to make a string. Okay. Now, what is this HOME? It is nothing but four characters joined together. Correct. So that is why to create a string, we must create an array of characters. All right. So let me show you how to do that. So let me yeah, let me delete this. Let me delete this. So what we have to say is char because the data type that we will be using or that will be store that we will be storing in the array is character. Okay. So you know how to create an array. So I won't explain it in detail. All right. So next I will give a name to the array. So let me name it as name itself. All right. So the data type that I will be storing in the array name is character and now I will say is equal to and you know how to create an array inside flower brackets inside flower brackets and inside single quotes okay h or h comma o and comma m comma e okay home so now this is my array okay this is my array with four characters in it four characters in it all right now this is not it there is one more character which is called as null character which is nothing but backward slash zero all right backward slash zero we need this we need this i'll tell you why later okay so now i have created an array with h o m e and a null character okay now let me try to print this out so i'll print using percentage yes i'm using percentage yes because i'm trying to output a string i'm trying to output a string the string is made up of character Okay, string is made up of characters, but I'm trying to output a string here. So we have to use percentage. Yes. Okay. And here I'll say name. I'll say name. I'll end it and I will run it to get home as result. Okay. So we create an array just the way we have created in previous videos. All right and then store different characters inside single quotes single quotes 
and we use a null character at the end and then we print the string. So this is how you have to store a string. All right. Now, what is this? This is a null character which is used to say that the string ends here. Okay. This is required to tell the C program where the string ends. The string ends here, correct? After E. So we need to have this after E. Okay. Yes. Now this is one way. This is one way. So let me comment it out. Okay. This is one way. No, this. We have one more simplified way to create an array. So instead of typing like this, we can also do this. We can say character C H A R name and array in the same way we are creating an array and is equal to and inside double quotes home okay inside double quotes home you don't have to do like this you don't have to type like this all you need to do is type the string inside double quotes like this okay remember the double quotes inside double quotes like this and store it in a string so instead of typing like this you can go like this this is also perfectly fine amongst these two i think this is simpler so you can go for this now in this two there is this okay in this two there is this but it is automatically added by the c program so if you go for this method you don't have to explicitly type it out but if you go for this method of string creation then you need to go for this you need to type this out okay so let me run it and you can see i get the same result as output okay yes so let me delete this let me delete this we will not be using this complicated way of creating an array so let me delete this all right yeah now everything related to array that we have learned holds good for this also okay to access individual characters see we have one two three four four characters in this to in to access individual characters we use index numbers okay so you know that index number starts from zero so first character has index number zero then one then two then three all right so let me try to access it let me try to access the first character okay first character now what is that i'm trying to what is it i'm trying to access it is a character correct so it has to be percentage c okay it has to be percentage c and then name and inside square brackets the index number all right so if i'm trying to access h then we have to use zero so let me run it and get h if you want to access o then h1 then if you want to access m it is h2 similarly 3 e 4 we have null character okay null character the backward slash zero all right yes now you can replace or modify a value of a character using index number just like how we did with normal arrays all right so let us do that now let us say that i want to replace the first character h by r we use the same method that we have used for replacing a value in an array. Okay. So here I will say name, which is this. And then inside square brackets, I will type in the index number of the first character, which is zero. Okay. And then I will say is equal to, and then what is the value that I want to replace with? I want to replace the H with R. So R must be inside single quotes. Okay. 
So now I want to print it out. So let me say yes, because I want to print the entire string. And here, let me remove this. And now when I run it, I get Rom. Okay, I get Rom as result. Now, if I want to replace O with A, then one and A. So now when I run it, you get him. All right. So in the usual way, we replace the values or uh, characters of an array. All right. Yes. Now we can check the number of elements in an array by using size of operator. Now this is a new operator, meaning I had not introduced it to you before. All right. So we will try to use that in this program. Okay. What is it used for? It is used to it is used to check the number of elements in an array. All right. Now let me delete this. Let me uh, let let it be there. Let it be there. So I want to check how many characters are there in this array. So what I will use is percentage LU. Percentage LU because the size of size of belongs to long unsigned data type. Okay, I had uh, explained only about this, uh, but there are many other data types too, some of which are very rarely used. But one operator, which is size of operator, which is used frequently, belongs to long unsigned data type. And the format specifier for long unsigned is LU, long unsigned. Okay, so we need to use this if we want to use size of operator. Okay, size of operator. Now, what is that I want to print out? I want to print out size of size of this array name. All right, size of name. So let me run it. Let me run it. Okay. So yeah. Let me run it, and you can see I get five as result. You don't have to mention the brackets here. I mentioned it by mistake. You can see I have five here. What it is giving me, or what it is telling me, is there are five characters in this array. So one, two. Three, four. Where is the fifth one? The fifth one is the null character. Now, what is null character? I had explained you before. Correct? We have one null character with backward slash n, backward slash n. So it is there here, but it is not displayed. All right? It is not mentioned here, but it is counted. It is counted for the size. Okay? So the size that you get using size of operator will be one higher than the number of characters that you can see here. Okay. So if I have high, all right, if I have high here and if I run it, I'll get three. H is one, I is one and the null character is one. All right. So using size of operator, you can check, you can check the, or you can count the number of uh, characters in an array. All right. So I hope this is clear. These are the basic things that we can do with an array. In the next video, in the next video, we will learn some more things that we can do with an array and then in the next video, we will learn about the functions of array. All right. Yes. So I want you to practice everything that we have learned in this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.